Hey guys, welcome to my Paradise Rainbow Mandala crochet along. Uh, this set is part video is part one. So uh, essentially, in part one, we're just going to be concentrating on this middle uh, kind of flower uh, motif, and there's a few different things what are going on. So uh, what you're going to need is uh, as many colours of DK as you can get or have. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but you can use whatever colours you like because that's the idea behind doing a rainbow, uh, just for it to be bright and colourful. So I'm using a 4mm crochet hook because I'm using a double knit yarn. I also have a darning needle and my trusty pair of snippers. So follow me back on for round one. Right, round one, I've just got this uh, nice blue colour on my hook with a slip knot. And what we can do is make a chain 5 loop. So, 5 chains. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then we're going to slip stitch back into that first chain and make a nice, a nice big loop. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to chain 3. 1, two and three and inside this loop working over this uh, tail as we go we are going to put in 23 double crochets so we have a total of 24 stitches because this first chain three counts as a stitch so for a double crochet yarn over go through this center loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two so now we just uh, got to carry on until we have a total of 23. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these uh, off camera because I'm trying to keep the video segments a little bit shorter this time. Uh, just so it uh, makes it a little bit easier for me to upload. So join me back for the end of this round. Right, so I've got all my uh, double crochets in there, 23 double crochets. Uh, I always do recommend that you double check, uh, especially on this uh, first uh, round. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a slip stitch into that top chain of uh, that chain three and carry on through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out enough yarn because the next round we will be changing colour. So that's the end of round one so follow me back on for round two. Alright so for round two what we're going to do is I've got a new colour and we're just going to Choose any stitch you like, so I'm just going to go through that one, and then pull up a loop, and then we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and this is classing as a double crochet. So what we want to do is we want uh, two double crochet in each stitch around. So in that same stitch where we have that chain three, you need to put another stitch. And then the next, next stitch, same again, two double crochets, and we're going to do this all the way around. And we should have a total of 46 stitches, if I am correct. Which, I may be, may be correct, might not be. <laughs> so, what you need to do is work over as many yarn tails as you can, uh, get away with uh, during this uh, crochet along. Uh, don't leave until the end uh, because you'll uh, end up regretting it severely uh, because there's going to be a lot of loose ends to uh, pop away if you do that. So I'm just putting two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. What I'll do is I'll uh, finish these off camera and join you back at the end of round two. Right, so this is the end of round two and it turns out we have 48 stitches, <laughs> just so you know. Right, so what we're going to do is uh, I want to change colour uh, for my next round. So to finish this round I'm going to pick up my next colour, which is the first colour from uh, round one. And I'm going to go into the top of this chain three. This is where I'm going to pick up my new colour. Just bear with me a second. There we go. And I'm going to get my new colour yarn and I'm just going to pull through and I am going to just chain one just to uh, lock that in there and then follow, uh, follow me back on for round three. Right here then, round three. 
what we're going to do is we are, I'm just going to keep all these out of the way because I will be re, uh, reusing this uh, lighter colour for the next round so I'm not going to cut that off yet. So our first stitch in where we have um, our chain one we are just going to pop in a single crochet just into that same stitch just like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to skip two stitches so that's one and two and in the third stitch we are going to put in six double crochets so one two three four five and six what we're doing is we're making like a small petal, so what are uh, going to sit on the outside of this circle. Don't worry if your circle's looking in a, uh, looking a bit of an odd shape, it will eventually flatten itself out. So what we're going to do now is skip the next two stitches and in the third we are going to do just a single crochet. And skip two stitches, one, two, and in the third six double crochets. Three, four, five, and that one makes six. Skip two stitches, so one, two, and in the third, a single crochet. And then skip two stitches, and in the third, six double crochets. I'm ju I'll just do this last one with you, and then I'll let you uh, finish the round on your own. That's three, four, five, and six. Skip two, and then a single crochet in the third stitch. So what I'll do is I'll let you, uh, I'm going to do this off camera, and then I will be back for the end of round three. Right, end of round three. So... Now we've got all these uh, petals on here, you should have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So what we're gonna do is, if you remember we didn't cut this color, what we're gonna do is we are gonna slip stitch into this first single crochet from the beginning of the round with your secondary color. And then that is the end of round three. So follow me on for round four. Right, round four. What we're going to do with our lighter colour is we are going to chain one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a treble round the stitch two rows back. So round the uh, row of the same colour. So yarn over twice. And then it's going to be a front post stitch. So you come round the front and underneath that stitch what's direct underneath. Yarn over. Pull through from underneath, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and then pull through two. And that, that's just going to connect this row with the row to, two rows back. So what we're going to do now is we are going to do two back post half double crochets on, on the... Uh, first two stitches of this flower. So do back post half double, yarn over, insert your hook, go through, so it's round the back, pull through, so you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's one, and then there's the second. Then we are going to do two back post double crochets now. So you work it the same, uh, apart from it's just a little bit different. So it's still coming from, from the back. So you've got three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Oops, just do that one again, shall I? And then another one.
and we've got two stitches on this uh, petal left so these last two are going to be half double back post half doubles just like that and then we're going to do another triple round a stitch so yarn over twice come down and do a front post stitch round there you can fold your work like I'm doing it just makes it a little easier to uh, work on and then we're going to do the exact same on this petal as the previous so the first two stitches are back post half double crochets the next two are back post double crochets then the last two our back post half double crochets and then you're back to doing your triple again so yarn over twice pick on this stitch direct underneath that single crochet from the previous round and make your stitch there right so I'm going to let you uh, get on with uh, this round where at the end you'll be slip stitching onto this long stitch here where I will jo join you back for round five. Right, round five. So, uh, with a new colour uh, again uh, on our hooks, what we are now going to do is we are going to find the fourth stitch on any of these petals. So, let's find uh, which stitch I'm going into is uh, one, two, three, and it's this one. As you can see, it sits nice in the middle. And we're going to start off with a standing single crochet so after you've got your slip knot on your hook just go through pull up a loop and yarn over and just make your single crochet like you normally would so when it comes to uh, slip stitching at the end of the round it's uh, here where we're going to slip stitch into so what we're going to do is uh, yarn over twice and then we're going to go into this long stitch now we're not going around it or behind it we're actually going into the top of it and we're going to make eight stitches. So that's one, two, three. Four. Six. Seven and oops, and this is number eight. It is a lot of stitches in that one stitch, but it'll be fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the fourth stitch on the next petal. So one, two, three, and number four. Which is this one. And we're just going to make a single crochet. And then we're going to go to the next long stitch. Yarn over twice. And we're going to make another eight stitches. Number three, four, five, six, seven, and this is number eight. And Back to the fourth stitch, so one, two, three, and in that fourth, a single crochet. What we're going to do is we're going to carry on for the round and then slip stitch to the beginning of the row. Round six, I'm going to be using my dark colour again. If you remember, I didn't bother cutting it off. 
So what I'm going to do is I am just going to do a back post single crochet around this single crochet here. Yeah, close enough. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to be working a series of stitches over uh, round these ones. Uh, they're all going to be back pro stitches on this round. So on the first stitch of this petal, I'm going to yarn over, come round the back, and make a back post half double crochet. Then on the next, on the next two, I'm going to make two back post half double crochets, uh, double crochet even. So that's two back post doubles. And then I'm going to yarn over twice. And on the next one, I'm going to make that stitch. I think it's a triple, treble. I always get confused. But as long as I tell you how many to yarn over, you can't go wrong. Then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do the exact same uh, down the other side, but in reverse. I'm going to start off with a long stitch by yarning over twice. And it's Two double, uh, two double crochets, back post, one, two, and a back post half double round that last one. So as you see, it just gives a little, a little height to these stitches and just uh, gives it a nice, uh, a nice shape. Right, round that single crochet, what we've got in between these uh, little uh, fan stitches, we are going to do a back post single. And then we're back onto another petal. So it's, I'll just do it once more. I'm trying to keep the, my video time down a little bit on this one. Back post half double. Two back post double. Yarn over twice and a back cross triple. One, two, and three. Chain one, and then you do the same stitches but in reverse, going back down the other side. Oops. And then that brings you back to this uh, back post single crochet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do the rest of my stitching off camera, uh, where we will be using the same colour. Oh no, we're going to change colour. So I will. <laughs> you're going to slip stitch back to your single crochet, where I'll see you back for round seven. Right, round seven. What we're going to do is I'm using a new cover on my hook with a slip knot, and what we're going to do is I'm going to stay away from that because I'm going to work this in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side, and in this uh, chain one space on the tip of our petals here, I'm going to make a a, a single crochet tip. So. I'm going to do a standing single crochet with a chain one and a single crochet all in that chain one corner space. Then I'm going to work down here with single crochets, so that's don't forget this one here, it can hide a little bit. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to skip a stitch, so it's uh, I'm skipping this uh, back row single here, and then I'm going into the next stitch with one, two, three, and four single crochets. So that, that uh, brings me back to uh, this uh, chain one space. So since it's chain one space, we're going to do one single crochet, chain one. And a single crochet, and that lead that 
is the same as this here. So I'll just show you that one more time for the sake of this video. So don't forget this first stitch here, it can hide a little bit. So we're going to do it in the next four stitches, a single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. Skip this back row single there and go into the next. One, two, three, and four. And then we're back to that uh, chain space, which is one single, one chain, and a single. So you're going to carry on uh, for this round and uh, I, I will join you at the end of the round because we're not going to change colour for the next one. Right, so I'm just coming up on the end of round seven. So I've just got a few more stitches left to do here, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch to this uh, standing single right there. And then also into this uh, chain one space. It is a little, it can be a bit difficult to see. So it's not in here because that's your stitch, but if I pull this apart a little bit, it's in this little gap right there. I'm good, that's where I'm going to slip stitch into, which gives me a good start in, uh, starting place for the next round, which is going to be round eight. So I will see you then. Right, round eight. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with the same colour and we've slip stitched into this uh, chain one corner space on that tip. What we're going to do now is we are going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then yarn over four times. One, two, three, four. And in this same chain one corner space we are going to pull up a loop. Yarn over, take off two, 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 and then yarn over and take off your last two. To make a really long stitch, I don't know the name of that one, it's probably something like a triple treble or I have no idea, so that's just what we're doing. It's a yarn over four times. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Then we're going to just elongate that uh, loop a little bit so you don't uh, lose anything there. And in this chain one space again we're just going to flip that and make a slip stitch. And then just pull it in a little bit just so it's not really wide and gappy. And then we're going to make a series of single crochets so we're going to skip that first stitch there, because we don't really need that one for anything. And we're going to go straight into the second one, and go one, two, three, and four. Skip this middle one, and go one, two, three, and four. So again, we're going to we're going to slip stitch into this uh, tip and chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over four times. One, two, three, four, and back into this space here. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through your last two, where we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, extend that loop out so you don't lose it. Come back through the space and pick that back up. Now it does help if you just leave it a little bit, a, a little bit on the uh, longer side, just to get through, and then you can just tighten it up a little bit like so. So it's always best to make sure you don't get these twisted so yeah end up with a chain five 
and then in the middle there's this uh, really long stitch what we've just made and then you over chain five just sits on the other side of it nicely. Again we're going to skip over this first stitch which would have been this one because there's no point in doing anything there and then we're going to go one, two, three, four single crochets, skip the next one and then in the next one we're going to do the same one, two, three, four, then a slip stitch into this tip. So what you can do is you're going to finish on the round and then we are going to just slip stitch into this area here when, and then we're going to cut off and move on and use another colour for the next round. Right, round nine and I have my white colour yarn on my hook again. So for this round there's uh, a lot of stitches going on but it's not that complicated. So what we're going to do is we are going to find the middle stitch on in this V. So it should be one, two, three, four, the fourth stitch. And what we're going to do on that fourth stitch is make a front post single crochet. So nice and easy start. And then what, I'm just going to turn my work and what we're going to do with these uh, loops is first of all you need to make sure that your chain stitches sit on either side of your long stitch. So if you pop your finger in you can see that this is the chain, this is the stitch and that's the other chain because we're going to be working a series of stitches over these now. So what we're going to do is we are going to be making double crochets into this side. So I'm just going to hold that like this, and we're going to uh, we're going to make ten, ten double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then I kind of uh, just like to scoop them down a bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's one side of these big uh, kind of leaf petals done. Don't worry about pla uh, placement of these there so far, it's fine. Then what we're going to do is skip over and make another 10 round your other chain 5. So we're not going to do anything with this uh, long stitch in the middle, that's just there for uh, structure. So, we need to make another 10. And we're just going round, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So we're not making it any more, just 10 on each side. As you can see, you know, it just makes a really nice shape. Then we're going to go back to the fourth stitch, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and make a front post single around that stitch. And then that brings you back to another loop. So all these loops are the same with uh, 10 double crochets around each side and then the anchor stitch in the middle around that fourth stitch with a single crochet. So I'll just do the first side. So one two, three, four, five, and just scoot them down a little bit, six, seven, eight, 
9 and 10. Oh, I'll do the other side whilst I'm here. Why not? And then make sure that this you know, that, make sure this one and this one aren't twisted so you are working on that chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then round that fourth stitch, one, two, three, and four. Oops, one, two, three, and four even. A front post single crochet. So you're going to carry on uh, like this uh, for the round. Then when your round's finished, you can give them a little bit of a stretch and make them sit where you want to or where you want them uh, to sit even and I uh, then what we're going to do is you're going to slip stitch back into this chain one uh, into this uh, single crochet and then we're going to switch colour again to our dark blue colour or whatever colour you're using instead so I will see you back for round 10 Round number 10. This is going to be the final round on part 1 of this uh, mandala crochet along. So what we're going to do is I've gone back to my dark colour and we're going to choose any one of these large petals and in the space above where this uh, long stitch is, this is where you need to be, just in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a standing half double crochet, chain 1 and another half double crochet to make a new point. So that's my standing half double, chain one, and then a half double. Right, so on every stitch of these petals, we're going to do a back post half double crochet. So yarn over, come round the back, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So we're going to do that on every single one of these. So that should be 10 in total. These uh, back post stitches uh, can be a little bit challenging, so take your time. I'm just trying to speed up here for the sake of uh, cutting time down a little bit on the uh, video. Right, so that's uh, down to the bottom side of that petal. So what we're going to do is we're not going to make any chains or uh, anything uh, funny. What we're going to do is we're going to keep the stitch a little bit tight, yarn over and go straight onto the next petal. And we're going to do the same up this side. So all in back post half double crochets. Remember to keep that first stitch a little bit on the tight side because then you don't end up with uh, any big gaps anywhere. Sorry about any uh, background noise today. Nearly there. So this is number nine. No, this is number ten even. I do apologise, my counting's all out today. And this brings us back to that middle kind of space. Uh, just above this stitch here. So we're going to make another tip. So what we're going to do in this space is a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. So we're, you're just going to continue round um, the entire piece 
like that and then when you get back to your first standing half double crochet you're going to make a slip stitch to join and then cut your yarn. So I will, uh, this is like I said this is the end of part one to this video so I hope you join me back for part two. See you soon guys, bye!